looking at uh, getting a bit. I still need a bit of white wool to finish off the windmill, and um, there was a few pine logs short, um, so just collected them. But uh, I've used all the white wool out of the um, <coughs> rainbow sheep farm. Sure. So I don't know whether or not to at some point build a, she a big sheep pen at the end of here, so I don't have to keep going back to the old base for. A, you know, and then if I suppose if I want to, I can always dye all the ones in there a different colour and just collect them from here. Mm -hmm. Whether to just keep waiting for these two to keep regrowing, but uh, yeah, quite a while. Yeah. Have you been doing? You, have you been working on anything? Well, have you been on any of your own? Oh, what have I been doing? I did some biome editing. Oh yes, because I happened to happen to log in during a uh, snowstorm. So, <laughs> so yeah, I was over at uh, the museum and all up above the ground trying to convert some of the places that have turned to rain back into snow. So I was able to do that. Um. Well, you, you was editing, editing them it, it back into winter biomes. Right. Yeah. Yeah, because you know, whenever I, whenever, you know, it's the whole. Whenever I came up on that island, everything was a winter biome. You know, I liked yeah. having my little snow island. Yes. And then the next time the generator changed, I guess it was what the one seven three to one point eight change. Uh, yeah, that's Something probably like yeah, that. yeah, the, yeah, to the adventure update, yeah, because it that's when they changed it all, wasn't it? Yeah, so I, I was working on the mansion at the time, and all the bay became frozen on one side. Exactly, but you know that was the last time that they had a update that actually screwed up all your biomes. Yeah, I think they changed it after that, so that it, it won't happen again. Exactly. So I'm no. just going back and repairing the damage that. You know, as I as I think about it, and as the biome edit uh, mod gets updated and actually works again, I go yeah. back. I go back in and and uh, change the biomes back. So I've got about half the island done. About half more to go. It's not something you can do like easily. Is it not like like dragging around a large area and just. I think you can always. actually. I think in I think you can. I think you can uh, go in and with like the the wooden axe um, in world edit and just choose a huge number of of uh, chunks and convert all the chunks at once. Yeah. Uh, which I'm going to do once I'm actually back on land again. But right now I'm doing it along the ocean's edge and I don't want to to uh, it's difficult to choose a bunch of chunks that way because I'm doing it just right along the edge of the ocean. Yeah. But they have improved it. The guy that wrote it has improved the program before whenever you when you went, for instance, like let's say an ocean where the ocean converts from frozen ocean to regular ocean, you know, the way that the actual terrain generator does it, you get this jagged edge between the two. Yes. The way the original biome edit program was, mod rather, was made was it converted the entire chunk. So you ended up with a bunch of square frozen chunks along out there in your ocean but the way the last update that he did you can actually use like I said the, the wooden axe and uh, biome edit I mean world edit to choose a section that you want so you can go and then convert the biome so you can actually go in and basically recreate the jagged edges between the ice and the the ice and the. Why well, am over here at the hive? Are you at the hive or are you at your? <coughs> I am. Yes, I'm in the middle oh, okay. sheep farm. Yeah. All right. For some reason, I was thinking that you were over at the other sheep farm. Um. Well, that's so... where I need to be. Really, I just <laughs> can't yeah. be bothered going over there. 
So yeah, he's he's actually rewritten it so you can go in and world edit essentially and make your jagged edges again. Which was a, a real nice update. So I'm going to go yeah. through and get rid of some of those big square blocks and make a nice jagged edge on them again. Hey. Hey. Just see some slime balls there then when you came past here. Yep. They've been dropping over there. Well, I've got my stone turned right down, I think that's why I didn't hear them. Ah, okay. No. Last thing I did was collect slime balls. <laughs> As I was coming through right before uh, you logged in, I was in my. The museum had just came down and here, the, you know, the slap, 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 slap. And, Got another dozen as I'm killing a big slime hopping around inside the place. You got some shears on you? Uh, do... <laughs> oh, yes I do. <laughs> and got some slime balls for some reason. You must have walked past them. Just heard some more fall. <laughs> <clears throat> I've just been watching that video you put up of um, us working on the uh, sky bridge before we went to have a look at your uh, boiler room. Mm -hmm. And uh, the bridge sure looks different in uh, all those. <laughs> a little bit, yes. A little bit. Looks very nice though, whichever pack it's in. Well, it looks it's functional. Not so sure about the nice, but yeah, functional. Ah, there he goes with the modesty thing again. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just a square bridge. It still looks very nice. <laughs> Thank you. Could have been a big old chunk of just a netherrack tube in the sky, so... It nearly was. <laughs> I nearly built it exactly the same as the other one. Because I like that one very much. No, I mean, just a, thinking... nether... I mean just a netherrack tube in the sky. <laughs> oh, right. Or a big cobble tube, so yeah. You did put at least that much effort into it, so it looks very nice. Yeah. Well, the the bridge across the um, sky bottom windmill will uh, be the next project, I suppose. Um, that's going to take quite a bit of thinking about to get try and get the design of the the bridge's arc right. Mm -hmm. I mean, it'd be no problem at all if I just wanted to build a flat, you know, a flat bridge suspended out across it with nothing there. Right. But I think I do want to try and build it with um, stone archway underneath it to make it look a bit more. Real worldy. Mm hmm. Yeah, oh, white sheep grow. Like You're the idea. only reason I'm here. <laughs> yeah, I think that turned out really well. See? Um, have you had any more thoughts now about what you're going to do with uh, your uh, floating island? No, I haven't. I mean, I know, you know, what we had discussed about with the whole, uh, you know, build a little pond, pouring into a pond, and build my little hut on it, and that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, then going into the actual, you know, building the actual base part of it into the island itself, so that... So that most of the most of the island, other than like the little hut entrance hut type thing, stays, you know, pristine and and nice looking, and you know have little balconies and windows opening out of it. Other than that, I haven't given it much thought about the actual detail, just the kind of the general overview. <clears throat> do you know what I was getting the itch to do, and I was thinking about it most of the day. Uh huh. I was thinking. Skylands, most of that's void. No, 
if I, if I <laughs> map out a big square there and then just blow out all the islands in between, it would make a very nice place for the hive map too. <laughs> <laughs> just because we'll never ever need another set of arrows or bone meal or, or anything like that ever again doesn't mean we shouldn't set up a new place to collect them all <laughs> exactly because like you said we should be over at the white sheep farm but it's an awful bother traveling over there yeah that's at least three minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Which would have been there and back in the time I've been standing here doing this. <laughs> <laughs> at the white sheep farm, I wouldn't be getting all the other coloured wool at the same time. Well, you're not getting it now, I am. <laughs> That's not true. I've got 16 <laughs> sets of wool here. <laughs> Once again, anyway, that's, that's the best wool there is, that wool that I haven't had to collect myself. <laughs> It's like on the show Deadliest Catch. It's the curse of the cameraman. Get over here and pull this cord. Yeah. That's one about the uh, deep sea trawlers, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So what's the curse of the cameraman on that? Oh, just that. It's like, yeah, it's like, are you going to let him use his camera and do his job, or are you going to put him to work? <laughs> <laughs> I had a friend that, for a while there, he used to, he was a nurse, and he'd take his summers off. He was, he purposely worked uh, as basically a PRN-type nurse, a relief relief pool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and eventually he's gone even further than that. He's become um, agency nurse now, traveling nurse, so he can pick and choose his assignments and when he wants to work and that kind of thing. Yeah. But uh, back whenever he used to work at our hospital, he would take his summers off. He would take like a month or two month leave of absence every summer, which he could do since he wasn't working for a floor. He was just in the relief and he would go work on a fishing trawler. It, wow. wasn't, it wasn't like bearing sea type fishing. It was more of a, a standard type fishing trawler, you know, where they had, they would go in and collect the big giant farming nets, <coughs> farming nets out of the ocean and that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, but his job, he worked basically for the EPA the Environmental Protection Agency, and his job was he would sit there and as the fish came through the chute, he would, uh, he his job was to count sea turtles. Because it, you would inadvertently in the nets, you would occasionally catch a sea turtle. And yeah. the fishing trawlers were allowed you know, a certain amount of accidental catch. And his job was to go and, you know, all the all the, the big fishing trawlers like that had to have um, a person like him on board, basically a EPA observation person, to sit and count sit and count the turtles that they brought in and if they brought in too many turtles he had to you know report back and basically they shut the trawler down or shut that particular farm down and yeah he said there was there was times most of the times the the captains the crew you know they understood they looked upon him as a necessary evil kind of it's like yeah we know that you know you're here to do your job you're here to got to follow the regs and that kind of stuff and you know they didn't bother him anything said every now and then you'd get some of the younger crew members and all that would give him a hassle like you know why aren't you you know come over here and give us a hand pulling this or doing this and he's like I can't do that that's you know not my job da 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 and then they'd give him a bunch of hassle for it yeah but said usually 99% of the time, you know, you had older, experienced captains on board who would uh, 
pull the crew member aside and give them what for. You know, don't mess with the EPA guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. We want this guy on our side, not really ticked off at us. <laughs> exactly. So how do you edit the biome then? Do you just uh, select the area and then just type in a command change biome or something? Or? Mm-hmm. It's like, uh, you know, right now, just type in um, slash biome, and then a space and the word get, and it'll tell you the chunk that you're standing in, what biome it is. Like right now, we're sta I'm standing in a chunk, it's ocean. Oh, yeah. And then, yeah, you do the same thing, but do biome list, and it'll tell you all the different biomes that are in the game. <clears throat> and well, then to, I will, mm -hmm. sorry, well. I was going to say, and then to change it, you just do biome and the word set, and then the name of one of the biomes, and that changes that chunk you're standing in into that biome. And that's, what, is that an extra mod or something, or is that part of something you've already got in? Um, that's, that's, uh, already in the, that's, that's on the server. That's the biome edit mod. Yeah. And it's like, it's like MCMMO and all that. As long as it's on the server, you're running it. As long as, you know, once you log in, that's available to you. All right. I watch um, Direwolf, who's like one of the biggest mod people on mm. YouTube and everything. And uh, the server they're running is like where all the actual mod makers themselves play on to test sure, the sure, mods yeah. and everything, you know. And they've got like all the advanced versions on it. And they've just started a new one. Um, and on it, they've got, I think it's called, is it called Extra Biomes? Um, mm -hmm. And that seems to be really, really. Bizarre, but cool in many ways, you know, um, some of the things that are on that. You can get some places that seem to have these really giant pine trees and everything, you know, not, not like the ones we've got, but some that go like 40, 50 blocks tall and things, you know. Right. Um, More like uh, redwood trees than anything else. Yeah, yeah. But what is nice is that... <clears throat> I think one of the areas is sort of like um, a temperate type of zone, and uh, mm -hmm. it looks like all the leaves have got the fall colouring. All the trees have got the fall co colourings on the leaves, so you've got these oranges and browns and everything. Oh, nice! And it reminds me of. Um, I'm trying to think what the pack used to be called. There used to be a famous pack that I think doesn't work. Doesn't there used to support be a, it anymore? Used to be a mod called Seasons. Yeah. Um, but it was just uh, this I'm thinking of it was just um, like oh Quandry Quandry that was it mm -hmm. um, yes yes uh, yes a yes, pack sir. that had mm -hmm. all the different season ones and you could choose yourself you know what season you was right, playing it right right yeah I remember that yeah there was like oh lord a lot of different maybe 10 or 12 different varieties that would go along they were like named after the months or something like that mm. yeah I remember the old Quandry texture pack because it'd be nice because you could you could actually play in the month that you actually was in you know so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. your game changed with you there was a mod out there for a while called seasons that was like that it was it was modded to go along basically with the quandary pack and if i remember correctly it's been many many months since i looked at it and i'm pretty sure it was abandoned yeah. But it would do that. It would you installed the Quandry pack and you ran the the seasons mod and yeah, as you basically set up like a calendar, you know, X you you set up X number of game days per month that you wanted. Right. And as it would go along, it would keep track of how many days it would pass and it would like change the month in the game and 
load up the next uh, texture pack for you. So it would find out whenever you, you put the when you uh, logged into the game, it would find out what day it was. It was a single player only, but it would find out what day it was, what month it was in the game, and it would load that version of the Quandru pack in for you. It's just so nice to see the the trees in the you know the oranges and browns yeah. and reds and everything. 